Hi guys and welcome back to my channel. Hubby's just bobbed out so I thought I'm going to be really cheeky and run upstairs and film a quick declutter video. Um, yeah, he's going to be out for a while, he's now stuck in traffic. So I look a bit like a drunk rat, we've been out shopping today. I have returned the scuffed, ridiculously expensive salt and pepper mills from my previous haul. So they've gone back to John Lewis. I feel a little bit better about that. Um, so yeah, that's what I've been doing today. He's just gone out to pick up some paint. We're going to be painting the kitchen. I might, I might film a video of that. I think I'm going to be doing all the painting. Um, and it's going to be quite drastically different. So I'm quite excited. Um, but today, decluttering, I've got cleansers and exfoliators and whatnot. There are a lot of products here. I don't think I'm going to get through them all in one video. So I've got there's exfoliators, there's cleansers, and then there's like micellar waters and soaps and things. So I'm definitely going to start with the cleansers. I might leave the exfoliators for another day. So I might do the cleansers and the micellar waters and stuff, I think, today, if that's okay. And then I'm going to film the other one tomorrow. So this weekend we'll get all of that done. And then we're on to hair i'm so excited <laughs> so excited to be moving away from skincare is it's, it's fab isn't it okay right then let us get on i'm going to wizard round um thank you about the hint about the lush expiry date and where to find it that product was out of date by 10 months so it has gone into the bin and look at this what i've got so out of everything i've done since i've started this series um, this bag is full of things that are for the bin. This is not including giveaway products or friends and family products. But, oh my God. This, is, this bag is full. Let me try and show you. Look at that. Is that not outrageous? It is literally crammed full of skincare that I'm binning. Um, it's quite disgusting, really. <laughs> okay, let us whiz around and get started. See you in a minute. Right, so here are our four boxes that we are all so familiar with. So this is keeping, this is bin, this is giveaway, this is friends and family. So the first things are first and these are cleansers. Um, okay, so what I'm currently using right now, so there's some oils and cleansers and bits and pieces. I'm just going to take out what's in this tub. So the first one I've got is this Elemis sensitive cleansing wash i use this so as part of a double cleanse and sometimes as um my just like morning wash you literally only need one pump <laughs> it literally honestly it is unbelievable when i first got it i did about two or three pumps you definitely only need one pump so yeah it's quite nice and um, it's a sensitive cleansing wash and yeah it's lovely i got this from the elements website i got a couple of things and then I got a really good like little package of goodies free with it. So it's one of these special deals that they have on. Otherwise I wouldn't normally purchase Elemis because it is a bit pricey. But um, yeah, this I'm enjoying using this actually. It's the first Elemis face wash I've had and um, it's nice. So I'm definitely keeping that. I'm also currently using this oil, which is a, um, where are we? Bone Beautiful. So it's a face off cleansing oil. I've literally just started using this maybe last week or the week before. So I use this as part of my first part of a double cleanse and it's really nice. Um, it smells quite fruity and tropically slash banana-ish. I can't describe it, but it is pleasant. It does not a bad job of getting waterproof mascaras off. But it does struggle a little bit to get all the mascara off. However, it is great at getting off like that first sort of lot of makeup and everything else and sunscreen, etc. So I quite like it. I usually put a few pumps in at once. And as I said, I've only been using it um, a week or so. And I'm enjoying using it, so I'll be keeping that. Next thing is something else that's currently opening in my bathroom. And this is the Cleanse and Polish by Lizzo. It's only a little one. I'm probably about two thirds of the way down it. I just use it now and again in the morning or as part of my second cleanse. I'm not sure if it leaves my skin a little bit tight and dry. It's definitely not my favourite. Um, I did buy it years ago when it first came out on QVC, probably in my 20s. Was that when it came out? Maybe in about, like in the 90s, early 90s. I can remember getting it on QVC and I got my little muslin cloth and I didn't finish it then. It was a full size. 
but I wasn't particularly good at skincare back in my 20s either. So yeah, this hasn't been open very long, so I'm keeping that one. Um, next, I haven't used this one yet. Um, this was kind of gifted to me. It is a Bayo Refreshing Face Wash. I'm looking forward to using this. I think now, these are I think these are cruelty free, aren't they, Bayo? So I am looking forward to using it. Yeah, vegan and cruelty free. So it's only a nice little one that won't take long to use up. Next is this one that I've had open, and this is a, a cleansing oil. Um, I hate it. <laughs> I absolutely hate it. I've stopped using it. So I've been saving to it from a declutter, really. I'm going to... Oh, thank God, it's nearly out of date. Um, it feels like a vegetable oil, honestly. It's just like a cooking oil. It's very yellow. It doesn't smell very pleasant. It says rosy pincandula. I, I just did not like it. I do wonder whether you could use this maybe as a shaving oil. I don't know, but I'm just going to bin it. I'm not a fan. And the fact that it expires in um, sort of like six weeks or so is fine by me. But yeah, I would not recommend that at all. Um, Next thing is, oh, this is amazing. I've picked this up in my Latest in Beauty. I absolutely love it. I've had it a few times. It's the Oskia Renaissance Cleansing Gel. It's like an orangey gel. This is new, this one. I've not opened it yet. But it is just gorgeous. This is what it looks like. And um, this will definitely not be expiring. Yeah, I got it from, as you can see, Latest in Beauty, October 20. Um, there we are. It is just gorgeous. So I'll be using that next, I think, because I just, I love it. And I want to start using things that I like and I enjoy. So I will be keeping that. It is just gorgeous. Next thing is one I need to be opening up very soon. I was gifted this by Good Molecules and it is the Rosewater Daily Cleansing Gel. I've seen loads of people using this on Instagram and they seem to really, really love it. And let me just make sure there's no expiry date on it because I do not want this to expire. I definitely want to get using it. Let me show you, it's full size. Their, their products are honestly so nice. I mean, glass bottles are very ethical skincare company. Um, they're absolutely beautiful. Look at that. I cannot wait to use it. I'm so excited. So I need to probably get that out soon. I'm probably going to have this running alongside my Elemis, if I'm honest. I'm very, very keen to use this. I've got, um, I think I might start a Good Molecules skincare routine. I know I've been talking about it, but I've got so many products that I've been kindly sent. I think it'd be really nice just to try and see how my skin gets on with everything there. Next one I've got is this. And this is the, oh, I know who this company is. Why can't I think of who it is? Is it the whole... I can't ever think of it. The Earth Works Cosmetics. I had something else recently in one of my other boxes. Um, and then declutters. Oh, it expired in July. These do not have a long day on. It's a shame, cruelty free and vegan. That would have probably been really, really nice. I'm quite annoyed at myself that that's expired. So that needs to go in the bin. Next is um this little gentle cleansing gel by Mustella. I spoke about this yesterday. I wonder if it's the same one if I put it in here. I think I have got two of them. Where's the one from yesterday? I'm not sure. But anyway, yeah, it's uh, for babies. Um, you can clean body, clean hair with it. I've only just had them pretty recently. It's okay until 2021. So we'll be keeping that one. Um, Next... I've had this for quite a while, I think. Purity. Um, no, I haven't opened it. It says 24 months from opening. Is there a date? No date that I can see. I'm not sure if I'm going to use it, if I'm honest. It's got a lot of dust on the top. Oh, it is sealed. Okay. Um, it's a three-in-one cleanser for face and eyes. Oh, it annoys me when there's no date. I don't know how long I've had this. I don't know. Oh, I wonder if I should keep it and then try and research it a bit. Do any of you know, my you, it's caving in. And do you remember I had those other things yesterday, the um, bubble baths that were starting to cave in? And I do wonder if this is a sign that it's starting to go off. 
I'm going to bin it and just be safe. You can't mess about with your face, can you? Next was just a little tiny mini and it is a cleansing makeup removing jelly. I've been using some of the um, serum. I've got a little mini set of these and the serum is actually really, really nice. This is only tiny. I am going to use it because I think it'd be really lovely just to use up and I'll use it very, very fast. Next, we have an Urban Vida Daily Purifying Facial Wash. I think I've used this before and I'm not sure if it made my skin really dry. I don't think I liked it. This is a different one. It's still in date. Vegan, cruelty free. Let me see if it's sealed. It's not sealed and actually it looks like it might have been opened. I'm going to bin it because I don't think I liked it. If it had been sealed, I'd have put it in a giveaway, but I'm just going to bin it. Um, we have a Balance Me Pure Skin Face Wash, 99% natural. This is the old style packaging. They've re sort of branded themselves now. Let's have a look. I can't see a date. It is sealed. I'm going to pop that in a giveaway because I am not too fussy about having that for myself. So I'm going to pack that there. Um, we have a First Aid Beauty Face Cleanser. I've had a few nice things about this brand, actually. And is it open, first of all? It has been opened, I think, although it feels like it's full. So I'm not sure if I've used it or not. Oh, I've got so many cleansers. I just... Oh, sorry, have I just knocked you? There we go. How rude. It's one of these ones now. I'm a bit wary because it's been opened. I'm definitely not short of cleansers. I'm going to bin it. Um, Amalan and Goetz. I got this from Latest in Beauty a while back. I have used one of them. I've got two of them before. I enjoyed using it. I think it was a bit grapefruity, if I remember right. 12 months from opening. I think, I think that's halfway down and i'm gonna just declutter that even though i enjoyed it i probably had it quite a long time it's been opened a while i really want to focus on getting like my elemis and the oskia you know the good molecules ones that i know i really really want to use and that bayo I, you know so i don't need that i'm going to get rid of that one oh we have a cordially these are nice this is an instant firming cleanser grape and sage it's like a little pump I have had one of these already before. I'm not sure if it was this one that I opened. Six months from opening. Hmm. Oh, I've had this for ages. Um I don't if I don't know if I've opened it or not. Isn't this a shame when it's just unsure? And again, I'm going to it is a pump. Let's see what it looks like. Oh, there we go. I'm going to give it a little sniff. It smells really fresh, actually. I reckon I could get that finished quite... Oh, it foams. Like, look at that. <laughs> um, it smells nice. I'm going to hold on to it because I reckon I could get that finished quite quickly. Just wiping my hands. Excuse me, guys. Um, so, yeah, I could probably get that finished quite quickly. Then the... Have I got any more in here? Ah, a couple of little things here. I have a small um, Caterpillar. I got loads of these sent to me um, and I was giving them out to friends and things. And I've still got loads, a gentle cleanser. 12 months from opening. I don't think it had been opened, it has now. Um, I'll give that probably just to some friends and family. A couple of sachets. I have an Urban Vida Daily Radiance Facial Wash. Is there a date stamped on it? I don't think there is. Um, I'll pop that into like a little giveaway thing and they're just extras to pop in. And then this is a Gazelle Triple Youth Skin Balancing Cleanser, two mils. Ooh. Ex oh, oh my goodness. Expires 2017. Wow. Really? I wasn't even doing YouTube then, was I? Oh, I was, I was. It was maybe one of the first things I got. Gee whiz, that's terrible. 
Right then, I've got a little bit of information here from the good molecules which should sent through. So you can have a little look there. This got sent through with a cleansing gel. I'm going to save that so that when I do my Instagram and things, I can pop that on. But there's a bit of info there if you're interested. Right, so that is there. Let me just go and add up and I'll be back in a moment. Right then, so what I'm going to do, I'm going to try and get this next box finished. I've got loads of things in here. Let's just whiz on quick. Got some wipes, my sellers. These are probably quite quick. Let's see. So first thing I have are some boots number seven wipes. Um, I'm going to keep these. They were tucked away, but they're handy just for things like swatches and whatnot when I'm doing my videos. So I'm going to keep that. I do not use wipes on my face, but I will keep those. Um, next is my, you know I love this, I talk about it in my empties all the time. This is my eye makeup remover. Um, I've got a backup and this one's on the go. It's, I love it, it's amazing. I am trying to take more and more of my eye makeup off now though with cleansing balms. However, this is really, really handy anyway and I will always have it in and I love it. It's less than two pounds, it's amazing. I'm keeping it. I don't use my cellar waters, so these I'm going to pop. Well, actually, that one's empty pretty much. That's been in the bin. And um, that one I will give to um, my son's girlfriend because she loves my cellar water, so she can have that. Um, I've got a little one here, which is a small Kiehl's. I've had that open a little bit, and I know it's really expensive. Just trying to see how long we can keep it open for. Oh, this is hard to see. Hang on, excuse me. We'll have a look and see if I can see. 12 months. I reckon it's going to be that at least. I don't think it's this year I got it. I think it's longer than that. So I'm actually going to bin that, which is a shame. But again, I'm not broken hearted. I don't really use it. This is one which is a clarins and it is a one step cleanser water comfort hmm interesting for normal to dry skin i will keep that and give that a go um i'm not sure what it's like but again if i'm maybe doing a quick makeup look and need to remove something in a hurry um or i might just review it and see what i think as well um or maybe do a comparison if it is just like something you can take your makeup off with a pad do this compared to taking your makeup off properly <laughs> so i'll keep that next ah uh, good old elmis balms so the top one is one i've just brought out my bathroom which i'm using these two i've had in other boxes i'm not giving them away i'm not putting them in giveaways because i love it and it's expensive and i'm holding on to them they will not be out of date because i've only just got them this year so they are all mine baby <laughs> because if you like something you like something um next up is this and it is nail bay and it is just some micellar water again i used to use this just for swatches it's about halfway down it was a really nice one 12 months i reckon i've had that open that long i must have i'm going to declutter it literally i've not used it in months so it can go away um, a little sachet to try of a Nivea cleansing cream wash. Um, oh gosh, expires 2018 in the bin. Oh, I'm trying to try this. This is the um, charcoal sponge. I used the pearl one, which was amazing. It's like a sponge that's got coal, not coal. <laughs> It's a sponge that's got soap inside it. Why did I say coal? Obviously it's charcoal. It has soap inside it. The pearl one was literally amazing. I absolutely loved it. I do want to try this one. It's been tucked away for so long. This is the kind of thing I love trying something different. So I am definitely going to keep that. A little itty diddy diddy baby Clarins at my cellar cleansing milk. Um, there's hardly anything in there is there is it worthwhile keeping 10 mils it is opened um i could try it in conjunction with this clarins as well couldn't i so i could maybe do like a little clarins cleansing 
comparison video or something i'll hold on to it just in case if i haven't used it by my next declutter they will both be going um next is this and i'm part of the way down this i have finished one before and it is oh no i haven't i haven't but it's a sanctuary spa cleansing foaming my cellar Foaming my cellar cleansing water. So I think it's a little bit like that cordly one that I had. Um, I don't think I'm going to use in this in all honesty. Open for 12 months. I can't even remember when I got that. I am going to declutter it because I have a much better cleansing routine now. Next, I've got a few little soaps. So this is just a Temple Spa Keep Calm Aromatic Cleansing Balm. That would be nice to try. I haven't really tried cleansing balms very much. I've got a very small um one in my bathroom just now, which is the Erno. Is it, oh God, what's it called? Is it Erno Laszlo? Is that who it is? Erno Laszlo. I've got a small one of those in. Um, I'm going to try and get into bars. It's probably better to do that. So there's one. Keeping that. I'm going to also keep this, which is a friendly detox rosemary and lime bar. I have got bars of soap now in my bathrooms. I'm much better. So maybe I just need to get these out as well. Um, let's have a little look and see if it's like a cleanser or it's just like a regular soap. I'm not sure. We'll have a look. But I want to keep, I want to keep the soaps for sure. Next one, this is one I want to really use as well, which is the Good Molecules. It's a clarifying cleanse bar. Um... Again, I'm just wanting to really, I've, I've told you already, I want to do a good molecules video. So I'm excited to try this. Let's have a look at this. It looks like a lovely bar from what I remember. Oh, how nice is that? It smells gorgeous. So not overly scented, but just like a, a lightly scented um, sort of cleansing bar. So yeah, I want to use that. I haven't decluttered much. Well, I've decluttered a few. And then this one, hmm. So about infused with chai spices, cinnamon and ginger. So it's vegan, palm oil free. I might put this one into a giveaway. I think it's going to be one of those that's, I'm not sure if I'm going to be that bothered with the fragrance. Oh, actually it is nice though. Oh, I'm keeping it, you're not having it. <laughs> it might go in the um, downstairs bathroom or something. That might be quite nice. It smell quite I'll bring it out near Christmas, it'd be a little bit Christmassy, I think, with the cinnamon sort of fragrance. And then just a couple of little ones. What have I got? A really tiny friendly hair and body bar. Ooh, lavender and geranium. That'll get used up so quick. Please have best before dates on for soap. Ah, I'm keeping that one. I'm keeping everything. Oh, I'm nearly done, guys. And then this one. A shampoo and conditioner bar. Wow, we need to try this. But I think this might be bath past its best. There's no dates. It's one of these little natural ones. I've had it for ages. I'll open it and try. Um, if it's not, if I don't like it, I'll just declutter it. Oh, and then last one is an itty bitty bitty argentum. These are meant to be nice as well. I think a facial cleansing bar. Ooh, with silver hydrosol. It all sounds a bit posh and spanky, doesn't it? So, right, that is it. That's all I'm doing today because that's quite a long video. We will leave the exfoliators for tomorrow. So I'm going to add up, spin you around, and we'll just finish off and do some sums. Okay, guys? Are you still here? <laughs> Hi. <laughs> wow. So there are a lot of products there. I'm so sorry. That was more than what I expected to do. But um, in total, there were 41 products between both of those boxes. They were a little bit jumbled, but basically cleansers, some cleansing balms, soaps, micellar waters. So that kind of thing really is kind of what came into that category. So the cleansers, like the first box, there were 19 products there when I began and I ended up with nine. So that's brilliant. I got rid of 10 altogether. So seven went to the bin, two went into giveaways and one went to friends and family. And then the second box, which was the cleansing balms, soaps, micellar waters, etc. And um, there were 22 to begin with there. I kept 16, but mainly because there were things that I really liked and wanted to use. Um, I've been to five and friends and family have one. So altogether, as I said, there were 41 products in that video. 
I've kept 25 out of 41, which is fantastic, which means I have got rid of um, 12, 16. Wow, so 16 have gone in the, away. Um, yeah, 12 have gone in the bin, two to giveaways, and two to friends and family, keeping 25. So that's not so bad. So tomorrow we are going to be tackling, it's not too bad, exfoliators. So it's a combination of cream ones, powder ones, scrubs, like facial scrubs, that kind of thing there. So that's what we're going to do tomorrow. So it'll be quite a short one tomorrow, you'll be pleased to know, <laughs> unless I talk a lot. So, phew, I'm going to go and make dinner now. I'm absolutely starving. Hubby's back ahead the door go. So I better go and um, see what's going on. So thank you as always for joining me. I hope you're enjoying it. I know lots of you are because you just leave such lovely comments. So thank you for that. And then I'll see you all again tomorrow. Take care. Don't forget to like, comment, share and subscribe. And then um, I'll see you next time. <laughs> Bye.